Hey YouTube, uh, this is a supplement update because um, it's been a week yesterday since I started saying I would take those supplements. So I'm going to tell you some changes that I've noticed um, and what I'm going to be doing next week with them. Um, so just to recap, I'm taking magnesium, zinc and calcium all in the same tablet. And I'm also taking, uh, I still can't pronounce it, um, tribulus test, test something. I call it TT. So I've been taking one of each supplement after my evening meal, which is usually either between six to seven, um, every day since last Wednesday. TT tablet, which is the testosterone one. Um, has that's been 250 milligrams every day except for one day I missed one day um, so we are taking them the changes I've noticed the most is my appetite's gone up definitely got a bigger appetite um, a couple of weeks ago I was probably just eating two meals a day and not being able to finish them and since I've been taking the supplements I have been absolutely starving <laughs> I've literally like raided the kitchen for food, which is good. I've definitely felt better for it. Um, the weight training's been better for it because I know I'm getting more fuel into my body, so therefore I'm going to work out a bit more. So I'll be doing that. Another thing was, I don't know if this was co coincidental or if it was something to do with the tablets. The day after I started taking, I came on really unexpectedly. So, I don't know if that's my body trying to get used to the the new hormone going into the body or whatnot, but um, that was a bit unexpected. And the other thing is, I don't know if this is coincidental, I'm just picky, being picky and just looking for changes, but I definitely feel something different in my voice. As of yesterday, I feel something, my voice feels coarser. Um, I know like taking tablets isn't exactly the same as taking testosterone, but if you think about it, testosterone shots, you're taking one sometimes every two weeks, every week. I'm taking this pill every day, so I don't know if it's just me picking up on that, but my voice feels a bit coarser. Muscle mass has gone up a little bit. I'm able to hold heavier weights, because I've been using that housemates um, push up bath thing and we use some of his weights which are a lot larger than mine and I've been finding them quite easy so that's good so that's the main changes that I've noticed so far what I'm going to be doing next week is saying next Wednesday is going to be the second week that I'm going to be on these um, supplements I'm going to up the TT tablet to taking two of those a, a day and one of the magnesium, zinc and calcium. Um, so I'll be getting 50 milligrams of the TT into my system every day instead of 25. We'll see how that works out. Um, so I'll update another week and let you know what's going on about that. I've been having a bit of problems with um, uni lately because of my anxiety and stuff that was quite bad at the beginning of semester one. I missed quite a lot of work. Uh, I wasn't able to hand in some um, essays and some coursework deadlines weren't met. So I was referred to the university's mental well-being officer, who is Sheila, and she's fucking awesome. I love her. Me and her have become really good friends. But um, I was sent to see her. I was referred to my counsellor. And basically she said the best thing I could do was to send in a PMC form, which basically is a post-medicating circumstances form, which goes to a board who kind of like look at my circumstances and look what's happened and they decide whether or not I can be awarded certain points and certain um, levels on my exams and essays. I got a letter back from them. I got that back on yesterday. No? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yesterday. And um, 
they've rejected the claim, um, which really knocked me because I really needed the PMC. The reasons they rejected the claim was because I didn't fit the criteria of my circumstances being severe, timely, acute and unexpected. So basically they say that what I've been going through with my anxiety with the gender thing with um, my depression and because I'm being able to get lessons, uh, they said that it wasn't strong enough claim to uh, ask for a PMC for. So I don't really know where that leaves me. Um, I've been told to get in contact with the disabled coordinator or the, the disability coordinator for the university and I had to speak to her but to be honest I just feel like I'm being passed around and no one really wants to deal with what's going on so that's really bugging me at the moment. I went to go and see my tutor, well one of my tutors for my courses, on Wednesday and we managed to just like talk through how I was going to catch up with all the work from semester one. Um, and we also um, had a chat about my whole gender identity thing and that was really good because I've not really talked to anyone about it before and she seemed quite like impressed that I've got to the age of 20 and I've discovered this about myself and I'm doing something about it. So she's been really helpful and she's helping me get my um, like work done. As it stands, my anxiety, it was getting better. Um, I could go out on my own without having a panic attack or without being a bit anxious. And I'd be quite relaxed, but from about last week, my anxiety levels have gone up a bit more than I had hoped. So we'll try and get them under control soon got a bit of a problem, um, my, well, I say a problem, I'm going home on Monday night, mum's birthday on Tuesday, so I'm going up on Tuesday, on Monday for her birthday on Tuesday, um, problem is, we're going out for a meal, and because it's her birthday, it's going to be a nice form meal, I have no formal clothes, okay? The only full ball clothes I have are guys' clothes, um, men's shirts, men's trousers, men's shoes, ties. So I don't know what I'm going to wear at all. I'm kind of getting a bit nervous about it because when I am at home, because they don't know anything, they don't know I'm trans, they don't know I'm gay, I don't tend to wear my binder when I'm at home, just in case. Um, I'll wear big baggy t-shirts. So going formal is going to have... I, I'm going to have to think of something. I haven't got a clue actually what I'm going to wear. Any ideas? It would be brilliant. Before Tuesday would be absolutely brilliant. Got any ideas what I could do?